What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome back to the channel and for another video. And today's video is actually about Destiny. A game I haven't played in a very long time that I'm really considering getting back into because I've been watching a great Twitch streamer play it and it, God, it looks really fun. Today I want to talk about the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 versions of the game. And something that people might not know has actually happened when it comes to console versions of Destiny. The PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 version of the game just got their final update and no longer will have Trials of Osiris and other weekly events. There's a lot of things that have been toned back on the last gen versions of the game. I think that Bungie and Activision are probably thinking that people need to step it up and jump onto the 8th generation consoles, but it still hurts for people who only have 7th generation consoles to play Destiny on. I'll drop a link in the description. Destiny splits off from the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 on the 26th of July. If you're still playing Destiny on the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360, the 26th update is the last one you'll see. That's aside from any emergency fixes, according to a post on Bungie.net. The patch also addresses a number of minor glitches involving loot, gear, and quest items. From today forward though, your progress won't be shared between last gen hardware and PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. This patch also marks the cutoff for weekly events like Trials of Osiris and the Iron Banner in older hardware, and expansions like this fall's Rise of Iron. It's a not so subtle push from the folks at Bungie, but really the developer has gone out of its way to accommodate legacy consoles. That's even going as far as offering free upgrades from PS3 to PS4 or Xbox 360 to Xbox One during the game's launch window back in 2014. There's a point where every console generation must close its eyes, and it looks like that day is here for the PS3 and the Xbox 360. So, if you're on the Xbox 360 or PlayStation 3 versions of Destiny, again, as of now, there will never be a Rise of Iron expansion, things like Trials of Osiris and the Iron Banner are over, uh, your game saves will not transfer between the PS3 and PS4 or Xbox 360 and Xbox One anymore, and that's a little sad for legacy gamers, but if you're on the PS3 and the Xbox 360, at least you can still play the game, you can still enjoy the game, there's still base base modes there, you can still do competitive and co-op uh, missions and things of that nature, but it might be time, guys. The PS4 and the Xbox One are very inexpensive at this point, and I'm sure that most of you guys out there, if you don't have them yet, you're probably working your way towards it. Hopefully this, this doesn't affect too many people who are really, really into Destiny still and you're able to enjoy the game and play it the way you like. If not, it's time for an upgrade. You guys let me know what you think in the comments. Are you still playing Destiny? And, and what do you think about the PS3 and the Xbox 360? Do you think developers should just stop developing for them at this point? Or Of course there's still lots of money left on the table, but the way I feel is if we continue to make games on the PS3 and the Xbox 360, we're going to tether or halt the development of what could possibly be. We're going to stagnate games now. We're going to hold them back from their, their true potential. Destiny 2 is going to be amazing. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be so different than what we play now. And the reason is, it's going to be on current gen systems only. And so I think by now, we're all these years into the current gen, it's time to let the last ones go. That's my humble opinion. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Be sure to give a thumbs up. Show support for the channel. Follow me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter. And tell your friends about me. I'm the Beastly Gamer. I'll see you guys next time. Let it go.